Hey, what's up guys, welcome back, it's Matt, and today I'm talking to you about Disney's The Nutcracker and The Full Realms. Now, I know I'm a little bit late to the party on this one, and to be honest, that's because I didn't even realise the movie was out. I saw a trailer for it a while back, and then I just didn't see anything else for ages, and then Bernadette was just like, oh, that Disney and The Nutcracker's, like, on its way out of the cinemas, we should probably go to... Didn't, didn't know it was out. Apparently it came out early in November. Seems like an odd time for a somewhat Christmas themed movie. So the movie is essentially a sequel, I suppose, to The Nutcracker versus The Mouse King, whatever the original Nutcracker story is. This movie basically acts like a sequel to it. And it's just not that good. I've heard people have like applauded like the CGI that's been used in the film and like, no. No, the, the whole film is just a complete over-the-top CGI gorge fest. Like, I know a lot of movies these days will have complete CGI backdrops because it's just so much easier than trying to go to a practical location, but this film was pretty much majority CGI sets. There's nothing wrong with that as long as they're done well, but I just didn't think in this movie they were done well. What I will say, though, for all the practical sets that were built for this movie... They were absolutely gorgeous. It's just a shame that they didn't use more practical sets, really. The plot of the movie revolves around Mackenzie Foy's character, Clara, who is grieving the death of her mother, going to the Four Realms, which turns out were invented by her mother, and essentially restoring balance to them, I suppose. I don't know, making everyone there happy and lovable again. Honestly, I'm struggling to say what I enjoyed about this movie. The, the story was weak. Acting was okay, I suppose. I kind of enjoyed Kira Knightley playing the <laughs> like weird fairy woman. There was a surprise Jack Whitehall and Ahmed Dali who played a kind of like comedy duo like guards, I suppose. I had no idea either of them were in the movie. Um, yeah, they had some funny moments, but yeah, in all honesty, the film was just a bit of a bleh. It just wasn't that good. And I find it very difficult to talk about something that just wasn't that good. The only highlight to the entire movie is when Clara first gets sort of properly into the four rounds and she gets to the, the castle. There's essentially a ballet performance put on for her which tells the story of how her mother came to the four kingdoms and kind of united it and, and saved the day from the clockwork mice. Uh, the ballet performance is absolutely gorgeous. The sets which have been built for it are absolutely gorgeous and just kind of it's all kind of film like almost one continuous shot and that entire sequence is absolutely amazing. That is the highlight of the movie. The rest of it is just a bit of a dirge. It, it was just highly predictable, CGI overload, subpar acting. Yeah. I don't know, can you tell that I didn't enjoy this movie? So I guess I've got to give it a rating. I'm going to give Disney's The Nutcracker and The Four Realms a 4 out of 10. I really wouldn't bother going to see this movie at all. Maybe one Saturday afternoon if it's chucking it down over Christmas and it's on Netflix. I also take issue with the title of the movie, Four Realms. The setup of the map is kind of like the castle in the middle, then the four realms. So we spend a reasonable amount of time at the castle and we spend a lot of time in the amusement realm. We kind of just fly through the other three realms though, so I don't know, I wouldn't really call it the four realms, it's kind of the one realm and a fleeting visit to the others. And even then it's just all CGI overload, so yeah. So guys, that's it for this video today. Uh, have you seen the movie? Let me know your thoughts down below. And yeah, you know, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm still doing my November thing, there's a link down below to donate to my November page. And yeah, until next time, take care.